The capture thing researched. No, let's grab that. Wish I could click things while doing that. Every X number of seconds, a new group of US forces will spawn. As well as a ever increasingly difficult group of GLA forces. So, I believe you only need two. Although we're gonna quickly run out of resources up there, so it's gonna be inefficient at the most. Heavy armor ready for action. By the way, here's our next group. New contact. More of our men are inbound. Upgrade complete. Hooray. I will be having another group of four of these, and then another group of four of these, and another group of four of these, basically infinitely repeating until the mission's over. It's another mission that's not terribly difficult. There is that, though, which I forget what these are, but they're pretty good. My dudes are going to be in the way, just in general, but... I kind of need them to be over here. I think I spawned on a cliff. Just so they can deal with these spawning units. And there is an attack force splitting off of there. I see that. I have an Apache up there, so hopefully they can help deal with it. The retreating forces will fire back. Somewhat ineffectually, but they will fire back. Another spawn, you say? Proceeding to target zone. Deal with it as best as I can. That's dying. I have a dude here. Hello. You guys are almost done. You can keep spawning those. My main force is going to be Comanches. Just straight up Comanches. I don't. That's really all I care about is just Comanches. What are you doing? You're supposed to be retreating. Downside, of course, is GLA is really fast. Use Comanches to kill them. Yes, sir. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. He's yeah, gonna go kill people, but whatever. You're welcome. If you had the income, you could build another airfield and keep pumping out more Comanches, just more and more and more Comanches. But you know. And we are going to move up to to try and also cover that hill. Or that, sorry, that approach to our base, because they will keep spawning more stuff that goes to your base as well. Thankfully, I will keep spawning more stuff that comes out of my base, so... I don't think they ever spawn up here, but maybe they do. If they do, we'll have to use the Comanches to deal with that. You guys... ...are not combat, so you can't shoot out from there, so whatever. Sell that, because I don't care. Should be selling. So, there we go. Get a little bit of money back out of it. Buildings take a little bit to sell, not very long, and they won't give you the resources until the building has completely sold, so it can still be killed if someone's trying to uh, destroy something. You can't just straight up cancel it. You can actually, you can cancel construction. You cannot cancel, you know, just straight up instantly scuttle a building that's already built. Comanche here. By the way, these rocket pods, pretty darn good. But you can't actually, like, move the aim once you've started shooting, so that's kind of something to keep in mind. If you idiots moved faster, you could escape a little bit better. That'd be great. New contact. More of our men are inbound, General. Oh, really? Armor detail reporting. Time for you guys to get up there. I believe all of them will fire rocket pods yes. at the same time when I do this. So it's probably going to be horribly inefficient, but hey. Let's go it. Yeah, they'll all shoot. Thankfully they have that massive AoE, so... That frame rate... My poor frame rate. Once you get rank 3 of these, they're, like, unstoppable. I don't even think you'll need crown forces once you get rank 3. It takes a while to get rank 3, but hey can see just how effective in general they are as well. A couple up here. Eventually, eh, probably right now, I'll go ahead and put these guys in a numbered group. You? We're done, by the way. There's nothing else for us to do, so... It's kind of irrelevant to even build anymore, but once this, group's get, once this group gets there, the mission's done. It's a fairly boring mission, but I just like the idea of it. It doesn't make any sense either to keep coming in waves like this when there's people chasing the first waves. 
What it really should be is like small groups at the start that like reinforce you and stay there and then when the final like people evacuating show up there's a massive wave of GLA or something. Rather than this, but you know. From a gameplay standpoint that'd be fairly boring. She wouldn't be doing anything most of the time. Everyone group one. You guys need to hurry up. Take your sweet time. I believe you can get, if you suck really badly, yeah, you can start getting multiple spawns at the same time. So they'll just show up like this in mass frequently. I'm killing all my dudes down there. How dare you? You're attacking my base, are you now? Oh no! They have anti air. They do. Kill that. Thank you. Didn't realize that they had anti air. Could shot down a couple of my helicopters. A couple when there's this many is mostly irrelevant, but hey. Good job, Team US, or something. Do I get bonus points for saving over 100? I saved an additional 21%. That's not how math works, but we'll roll with that. Because why not? I don't know how many missions there are. I should look that up. Despite our losses in Hindu Kush, America is still committed to destroying the GLA. Spy satellites have discovered a major GLA training camp on the coast of the Caspian Sea. The battle is already underway. Good luck, General. You could give me more info. That thing on the left in the pictures there is a Tomahawk missile launcher. It's basically the artillery. It's pretty good. Really weak, though. Really expensive. This is another mission I really like. It's General's version of D-Day. Fairly illogical, but hey, whatever. We'll roll with it. It'll give us... I don't, I don't think it gives you all of these people. I'm gonna take those and that. Maybe it does. I didn't remember that, but hey. It's gonna give me all of these dudes. Let's pile them up over here and work our way over there. Indeed. Let me get my dudes gathered up over here. Get my dudes gathered up. There we go. And then once we get here, the boats just kind of stop carrying. Just kind of irritating. However, we have Tomahawk missiles, so and we're gonna give them those. Give our tanks the machine guns. I generally give things that either need vision or are considered a scout vehicle the scout drone. Otherwise I'll give them the machine gun thing, or in zero hour I will give them the bomber. And these are what they give you Tomahawk missile launchers for this mission. You don't need to kill all the bunkers, but, you know, they're shooting down my freaking... Why you gotta be like that, game? What did the drone ever do to you? I shouldn't spend this much money on drones, but... Stop blowing up my drones. They will shoot down the missiles as well. Which is a bit cumbersome. Once we get this... Eh, we may as well blow up that bunker too. Once we get those two bunkers down, we can march our forces up there. Did he just shoot himself with a missile? Unit lost. Is that a thing that's physically possible? Instructions confirmed. May as well keep them running. You guys can all be controlled with one. Because why not? Is that all I have? Yes. Everyone. Unit lost. Hmm. May not even need to use them, quite frankly. Missile guidance set. If I had my freaking drones stop exploding, I could see what I was shooting at, and it would be great. There we go. Arming cruise missile. You can see just how much vision they give you as well. It's quite a lot. They tend to do that where they'll float in front of your units, which is logical, but it also means they tend to die. In a very irritating fashion. 
from Let's get that guy down too. That should kill him. Yeah. Uh oh. Updating grid location. Coordinates received. I don't know what's going on here, but in the field. oh nope, now he's shooting at me. He's gonna kill one. I'm pretty sure. I should use my dudes to shoot that, but hey. Warheads in the field. Updating grid location. On your command. You know what, you guys just Proceed go in there. Zone. You guys, there's something needs to scout and like shield these guys because they're just gonna keep doing this crap. It's gonna be really irritating. Like that. Adjusting for wind current. I wish they would stop. It would be swell. Sadly, Tomahawk missile launchers do not kill the people inside of these, as opposed to machine guns, which do. I've been promoted. Congratulations. I have a repair thing. I don't have a... I have a command center, so it's irrelevant. Never mind. I have a command thing anyway. Unit lost. I believe we get a base in this mission as well. Oop. Birds are inbound. Thankfully, everything stopped shooting at me. How convenient. This is Alpha Wing. Objective sighted. Landing run underway. Target zone is cleared. Good hunting, boys. Sadly, I don't think there's ever a point arrived, sir. where you can triple carpet bomb like that. Actually, is there? Is this GLA base here in I think the there is. No, I'm thinking Take about that. The operation is complete. I don't remember if it's the original game or Zero Hour or a specific like faction gets that or something. I'm not entirely sure. What are you shooting at over here? Stuff, apparently. How about a show for it? How about a show of force? You can go there, you can build a command center. Did I just build it? That's a barracks. Yeah, sure, whatever. Build a barracks. We'll probably need one of those eventually, I'm sure. We need one of these, though. Maybe I can't... Oh, I can't build a command center. I was just being a bit finicky about it, I don't know. I don't really need a command center. Yeah, I do. Bring on the scaffolding. If I wasn't using special weapons, I wouldn't need a command center. Or radar, for that matter. Radars. Any more projects? And kind of useful, but not necessary. Let that, and then we need one of these, which can go right there. Kind of right there. Where's my... You guys get rid of that. I believe that's the way up, or there are two ways up. Yeah, there's two ways up. Interestingly, the least guarded one appears to be the one closest to me. That doesn't really make any sense, but hey. Oh, there's three ways up. Our base one is of them attack. has supplies. Our base is under attack. So it is. Let's ineffectually shoot at them. Hooray. Ineffectiveness. Could build an airfield... Probably wouldn't hurt. What also wouldn't hurt is hurt. I would hurt all the time. What also wouldn't hurt is Our base is being attacked. that guy dying, but also having enough supplies to get that. Preserving freedom. Do I even have any Humvees? Do I want any Humvees? Yeah, I want Humvees. Why would I not want Humvees? Um. We're going to take that down. Get a pair drop. Preserving freedom. Pair drops are supposed to be like an offensive thing that you use, but I always use them just to get more dudes in my main army Ready that's just kind of chilling somewhere. Did I lose a tomahawk? No, he's just chilling over there. Alright. Transporting crew. Tomahawk's back. I could repair that one on this thing. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. You guys have one job, and it's to get resources. Hurry up. USA Armor Division. Did I knock that over? Yes, I did. Knock that one over next, which will probably fall... They fall a specific way based on where the ladder is, but I can never remember. I think it might fall that way. We'll have to see. We'll have to pay attention next time. Next time, it explodes violently. Hooray!
We could also use this scan thing. Hey, check out our new tow missile. To do that and check out our new tow missiles. I don't really need to though, because again, the campaign just kind of shows you everything. Generally Tomahawk shows you everything. Only ready. every Tomahawk mission is like that. Up. But generally, that's how that works. So let's grab all of you guys. Armor detail reporting. Control one Within. that. We up. should probably kill that. I don't know if they're attacking me or just kind of chilling there, but regardless, we need to we need to attack eventually, and that is the route I will be taking. So, hop to that, I suppose. I should probably build some infantry as well, just for the sake of having infantry. Quite frankly, you appear to be on a cliff. It's not really the manner in which I anticipated that going, but hey. Infantry in general, I tend to just use as kind of a meat shield, but they're also just in general useful for attacking pretty much anything. They don't do a lot of damage versus really any target at all, but you can get a lot of them out rapidly. That tank's gonna die. It's also not gonna shoot at anything, it's just gonna drive in a very odd fashion. You were a bulldozer. Why do I keep selecting bulldozers? Unit lost. Standing by for coordinates. You guys can begin making your way up here because I'll need you. Problem is that bulldozers now in group one. And too lazy to take them out. Can build a missile launcher. It's not really gonna do anything though, but hey. Is something attacking me? No, they're attacking it. That's logical, I suppose. You idiots appear to be attacking something I didn't really want you to attack, so I guess I'll help. Thankfully, the AI doesn't appear to have anything really in here. Maybe it will just bum rush and complete this mission now without really even bothering trying to do most of what you're expected to do. Like, not do this. I'm not sure what you idiots are doing, other than dying pretty effectively. But hey! Explosions and stuff. Everyone back up. Back up. Unit lost. Got a bunch of dudes just chilling over here. One of which is a pilot. Hey, pilots. You guys are making your way through that side with a pilot. Oh, minus a pilot. Special forces here. Take a new position. Blow that up. Please? Blow that up. Does he rebuild stuff in this mission? There are missions where the AI will start rebuilding stuff, obviously, but... You know, it's the AI, it's not exactly the most efficient of things. What did I lose? Probably something down here being an idiot. Did I lose my base? I have. That's a thing I should have been paying attention to. What's the story? I'll just sell that too. Didn't Our need my base at all. Didn't even Radio notice action. I didn't have radar, which is always a good sign. On the go. Army's elite. Heading out. I presume I don't need a base. Maybe I do. Maybe these guys can handle it. USA nope, they appear to be just sitting there now. Alright. They have nowhere to drop off their money, so maybe I should save a little bit. Unit under attack. Unit lost. Who? No. Let's take one of those off. Is that enough? 2,000. Let's take two off. Prior is a cold fusion reactor. Unit lost. Okay. Why do I keep losing units? Is there something down where it's not supposed to be? Probably, yes. Oh no, it's these guys. Who I completely forgot were over there because I told them to blow that up and presumed they were fine. Crusader tank responding. God dang it, game. Anyway, please, thank you. Let's see, two missile dudes coming at me. This'll wake them up. Hopefully we can handle that now that they've moved out of the room. There are some rocket buggies there, which are gonna be a problem. I have two paladins, but that's not going to be enough for even one rocket buggy. I want you to get in there. Thank you. 
There we go. Those are GLA holes. Uh, if you leave them alone, they will eventually rebuild the structure for free. You know, I don't actually know my objective. Unit lost. Apparently I'm losing units again. Are they attacking my base attack. again? They are. Hello? Lay in the foundation. Come over here. Loud and clear. I doubt you'll be able to get there alive, but you can try. I also don't think all of these guys are in the control group. They aren't. Can I keep you alive? Probably not. Crusader tank responding. On your command. This will wake them up. Presumably not, considering the large quantity of things with rockets over here. Like that guy. Nope, kill it. Thank you. Once it's in the GL, once it's in the hole form, I generally can ignore it without too much of an issue. Once it starts repairing, it just instantly pop it back to hole form by shooting it once. Let's get some gunfire on those. There we go. Machine guns are great against those because they kill the things inside of it. Do I win? No, because there's dudes chasing me, which presumably I have to kill. What do they have? Two anti-air? Yeah, they probably killed everything over there. Hooray for me being an imbecile. And presumably still being able to finish the mission. If this guy doesn't die, that'd be great. Thank you. You guys all have things? No, you should all have things. It's an interesting way to do this mission. You know what? I still don't actually know what my objective is. Is it to kill everything? I'm just to take that thing up there, which I have killed. That part of the mission is done, unless I missed a building. Or that counts as a building, or they re rebuilding it somewhere, I don't know. kind of hoping my bulldozer would actually be able to escape and I could just build up here. I have taken your base and I will build upon it. I now wish one of you people had a scout drone. Moving in. If it's to get rid of all this crap, I might have some difficulty with my current units. Considering my inability to build things, I may should possibly have built some defenses in my base. Or even remotely paid attention. There is nothing up here at all. Not a single thing. Guess we can kill this. Mayhaps that might trigger something. I doubt it. It's got no this rocket dudes, so just have at it. They can't shoot air, so those drones are perfectly safe. And machine guns are terribly ineffective against tanks, and apparently that was the building that was keeping me from winning. So hooray for ineffectually doing missions very much ineffectually or effectively depending on how you look at it i didn't even need a base screw bases i have tanks ray united nations diplomats have agreed to meet with the gla in kabara city near the hydroelectric dam the president believes the gla cannot be trusted and we have been placed on standby security alert Hooray! I remember this mission. It involves a dam. Spoilers. <laughs> may or may not involve blowing up a dam. We're live. Set recon online. UN negotiator in sight. Secure all sectors. Suspicious car pulls out Rodeo from behind. Has arrived. Look sharp. You in, you're pretty bad at this. I mean All units move in. Blue Eagle under fire at grid one three beta. There was that's a really strong limo. Even though it explodes, I mean it took like six missiles and a bunch of bullets. GLA cannot be trusted. Sends two Humvees with the President. Fire, 
I like, I seriously like how dramatic these intros for missions are. I think this was just their attempt at, like, storytelling in RPG format? Or sorry, RTS format? <laughs> I also like the sweet, like, Havoc physics engine going there. Spoiler, it doesn't use Havoc physics engine. Sadly. It'd be much better if it did, but I think that would... That's, this game's a bit old for that, so... General, uh, what do we have? Has been killed. DMZ is hot. The GLA are trying to establish a base on the other side of the river. You Not must a find lot. a way to destroy that base. We have effectively not a whole lot. I want that game, just Need give it to me. General. And we'll get that when the time comes. In the meantime, grab that. These guys are just all chillaxing. Having a grand old day. So there's a med bay there. Sorry, a hospital. And the base over there. That's going to take ages to build. Probably should build an airfield as yes, well. Sir. Mm. Nah. I won't actually build an airfield. Airfields are fairly expensive, and aircraft are also fairly expensive, so... What I could do, though... ...is very meanly shoot down this civilian building for no reasons. And do that. Hooray! Take that, foul beast. You know, airfield... Airfield might not be a bad idea, but it's still pretty expensive. What we can do is that, which may not kill it. Well, we could use Tomlot missiles as well. Do I even have Tomlot? No, I need a strategy center. Can I build a strategy center? I can. Also build a detention camp, which I never really use. The strategy center, however, is pretty good. It provides both tech and bonuses. Freedom. You can do hold the line, uh, which is you can do bonus defense, bonus attack, and bonus range. Sorry, I can't Just break your own fence, whatever, it'd be fun. How'd that work for you guys? You actually got missiles off. It's surprising and kind of irritating. Thankfully, it's an infantry which don't really care for the missiles. I don't care about the missiles. I care for the missiles. Again, if I can get rank 3 Comanches, it'd be just glorious, but we'll see. There's a bush in my landing area there. Can you get a different one? You can grab that one, and then you can grab this one. It'd be great if I could also find an actual, like, supply thing to use. I'm tempted to wait for this, but it's such a long cooldown to kill this, and then I wouldn't have to worry about any defenses and just rush in there. So expensive, like I won't even bother God. filling those with anything. Uh, more firepower. I really like weapon range, so... Search and destroy. There we go. I also really like how it says that we will take more armor and we will take advanced training. Both of which preferably before we move USA anywhere. He will keep moving stuff to attack me. The helicopters should defend Command well here. enough. I'd like to move them up slightly. Moving to new AO. He's rebuilding it back there. Interesting position. I'm surprised he rebuilds it at all. Oftentimes the AI in RTS games will not rebuild scripted buildings like that. I guess he will, so. This is just free experience for these. They don't even have to try. They're they're really effective against everything, so long as they have missiles loaded. So missiles for vehicles, machine gun, obviously, for infantry. And as long as he does not put out any substantial anti-air, it should be irrelevant. How's our upgrades going? Almost done on that. How about a lift? Oh yeah! Armor installed, sir. 